Krishna. So, uh, very good afternoon, everybody. And uh, this call is primarily towards uh, today to focus on uh, what Elon is thinking. And uh, primarily, what is Tesla's take on ESG? And uh, how much green Tesla is? And then now, uh, uh, why Elon has some different perspectives on ESG and in that order. So I have uh, Surji also uh, who will be joining the kind of discussion and uh, Surji Mishra uh, is a consulting CTO. He has a ESG as one of his favorite topic. So let's see, I think this, this became a kind of a big discussion when uh, Elon made comments about ESG that it, it's a kind of a devil's incarnate Etc. So, and he's saying ESG is a scam. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what as an industry, I think most of us uh, from ESG or impact uh, world who may be having opinions uh, may come from governments, uh, risk compliance, or other sorts of industry, or even look at uh, uh, this green other uh, impact world. So uh, concerned about uh, this climate change and a bunch of other things. Uh, we may have some belief on ESG as a, the right way, the mechanisms are um, considering uh, various other factors. But uh, let's try to understand uh, how much green first Tesla is. I, I think uh, there was a famous article on uh, uh, Tesla in Forbes, uh, whether uh, how, how green they are. So uh, we will uh, we will try to look at that, and uh, Atima has written a uh, very nice coverage on that. So it's uh, primarily on um, whether uh, Tesla has uh, really kind of uh, they, they, their product is very green. Uh, it's helping the environment, etc. But whether uh, what are the other things uh, they can do? So you should uh, all look at that article, and um, uh, let us also look at uh, Tesla's own impact. Uh, uh, they, they kind of certainly have a site about uh, impact and environment talking about uh, they have released even a report uh, in 2021. So how much of the net energy impact? So if Tesla is completely not subscribed to this ESG, um, uh, I don't think uh, they will be kind of uh, doing a report on this uh, because they are a public company. SEC is expecting uh, everybody to have a tab on this. They, they, it's uh, mostly voluntary disclosure at this point of time, but uh, still SEC is expecting uh, them to kind of uh, be aware of what, what, what when it comes to environment and uh, uh, other aspects, social and governance aspects, what are their thoughts and how they are uh, acting upon. Maybe Tesla is primarily kind of looking at the environment aspect, I have never seen a single document on both S and G. Um, I think that may be the scary part for Elon, if I'm not wrong. So uh, maybe uh, uh, I think that, that there were uh, other issues even uh, recently, which has uh, uh, some whistleblower of Tesla, which uh, has popped up um, um, kind of where there were the settlements on um, to the whistleblower. So, uh, in fact, uh, if, if you talk about that, so that, that there are a bunch of other cases, right? Uh, one on the racism and another one on um, even uh, there was a sexual harassment uh, from Elon society itself, which was uh, settled out of court, right? So, which, 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 which also uh, a kind, of, uh, kind of the SpaceX uh, flight attendant. So uh, I think uh, her friend came out, though the, fr uh, the flight attendant who was abused uh, couldn't speak. I think uh, th there was a flight attendant, uh, uh, friends, uh, she came out and she spoke about it. So I think... Uh, uh, we, yeah. the, uh, paying actually $80 million uh, was not enough actually for um, um, uh, uh, Johnny Depp's uh, girlfriend. <laughs> um. That's right, that's right. It's a very um, kind of a serious allegation. I think uh, uh, there were not a, a huge uh, uh, kind of a contest from uh, well, both Elon Musk and Tesla side because there was a real settlement, uh, looks like. And um, I think that there were a, a kind of huge press coverage on this, uh, uh, that uh, particular uh, SpaceX flight attendant the case. And not only that, so even if you look at uh, racism and other things, uh, even um, uh, worker security. So I think uh, Tesla uh, had a big uh, issue uh, at the peak of COVID uh, on uh, workplace security, uh, workplace safety uh, when it uh, came to COVID. So um, uh, there were uh, 
kind of people were trying to form the uh, bo uh, kind of union etc stuff and uh, where they were trying to oppose on uh, reopening of the factory and few other things uh, which i think uh, um, also spiraled some of the kind of uh, the occupational safety aspect and uh, even some of the move of uh, tesla to some other states out of california right i think uh, it was uh, primarily used as a one of the reason and i think um, uh, the the uh, tesla never complied in fact they said uh, we will open and uh, we will um, kind of uh, look at uh, challenging this uh, in the court or something like that they they uh, never choose to comply when when there were some uh, local regulations when it came to um, uh, opening up our places so i think uh, uh, this 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 was also a concern i think uh, with respect to i am i'm just reading all of this as a public uh, uh, maybe a little more as an entrepreneur so i think um, uh, both s and g i, I see a huge uh, uh, in the g I, I particularly see with respect to work, uh, worker safety and security occupational uh, safety and uh, health aspects uh, the osha aspect as well as on uh, on the social side on the on the reputational uh, hazards uh, we kind of have seen multiple cases uh, with respect to both harassment as well as uh, sexual discrimination so i think uh, uh, some entrepreneur like uh, elon musk to call out uh, the whole esgs scam i think he he is believing on this e but whether he is believing on the sg is the big question so i think uh, i will leave that question to even surjia maybe want to invite his opinion just uh, uh, share your thoughts on that uh, uh, aspect uh, surjia please yeah um, i mean say i cannot um, disagree with you um, in whatever you said um, i mean say i cannot agree with you more um, than what you said um um actually uh, it's it's a uh, you know uh, the the power walls if you look at it the power walls that uh, tesla is selling um it, it, there is if you look at the economies of scale and then the kind of uh, um, tag actually he has put when um when actually us government is uh, facilitating and then discounting on all these solar panels he took that as an opportunity to sell the uh, uh, the power walls at whatever um, you know uh, price whatever he wants he just put a price tag there is no rationality to have a battery backup if you look at um, back in india china i cannot bring those uh, to us but there are walls available uh, which is very 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 i would, i would say actually maybe three times cheaper than what actually um, uh, must be selling it so why it has to be so expensive in us where is the uh, environment aspect uh, of actually what tesla actually preaching right and um, you talked about uh, your voice is breaking um, we lost you uh, sujia So, Jay, are you on the line still? You um. Sorry, I lost sorry you for a that. brief minute. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just wondering what kind of um, uh, impact actually that uh, they will make is uh, you know uh, technology leaders um, going to uh, invest in crypto uh, through our daughter and then um, promoting um, you know. kinds of uh, ethereum there is another leader i'm talking about at uh, 70 odd years uh, having another girlfriend and things like that so there is there is a lot of uh, you know uh, impact from this leaders and uh, there are actually environmental awareness and things like that yeah, there are people actually floating videos about it thing i mean so what kind of uh, logic is he talking about there are leaders actually who come from pure technology if you have if you are good at like building computers and then um, selling um, some actually uh, cloud and things like that stay there i mean so don't get into water your agriculture farming and things like that where actually you have bought probably 600 uh, probably 1000 odd acres uh, till now um, uh, bill gates has 
um, and then actually you are preaching that okay uh, the farming should be this farming should be that and where you are uh, rampantly um, growing not actually uh, organic but gmo uh, product uh, basically produces you are producing out of those fields so where is the um, esg factor in all of this i mean see you had you have technology you have technology to really grow good organic and then really reading the soil really reading the weather condition and then um, really create uh, that organic uh, pure organic you know kind of heirloom kind of uh, uh, um, you know seeds to be grown uh, and then heirloom kind of products that uh, actually should be uh, uh, basically promoted in the market you have that influence but where is it i mean say uh, it's in the similar line right um so yeah um i agree sure i think uh, this uh, selling of uh, the whole esg framework i think there are a good bunch of organizations who are into that and uh, uh, who have come up with the framework and uh, i think selling of the entire framework uh, for the sake uh, that uh, the organization is not in a position to comply to both the social and governance aspect uh should not be a reason uh, uh good reason actually see maybe i think uh, um on that to given the fact that they are riding on this whole e of the esg uh, to sell their product i think their product is primarily uh, picking upon on the everybody's emotional attachment towards uh, how much uh, what is that we can do for that uh, world by saving some bit of uh, this uh, carbon emission so i think everybody is trying to see can, okay if i can afford can i can i change my car can i make it as an electric vehicle so i think that's the that's how this whole phenomenon of this tesla got started and got sold and now they have he has built a billion around it or become became the richest person of the world but that doesn't mean this 89 million dollar penalty is fraudulent right all of these penalties are paid fully by tesla or their subsidiaries financial offenses government contracting related offenses competition related offenses safety related offenses environment related offenses so uh, kind of uh, this this shows that there is a lot of uh, scope for improvement with respect to g which is governance it's not uh, uh, kind of with respect to compliance of regulations uh, see everywhere uh, the world and uh, the governments have regulators and regulations for the helping enterprises to be successfully capitalistic and still comply towards uh, taking care of the world too so i think um, uh, i i strongly believe uh, tesla may have great vision and uh, whatever other subsidiaries uh, what uh, elon is uh, associated to they may have strong uh, kind of a great vision and mission and uh, already kind of doing uh, big things but uh, selling something like a uh, esg uh, doesn't make sense instead of that maybe they should make effort to focus on both s and g which is uh, uh, the core uh, which is also the core of esg so i think uh, that's my aspect i think uh, uh, standard and poor is uh, not uh, uh, some uh, blackmailing organizations to have uh, uh, tesla kicked out of their esg index uh, standard and poor 500 esg index so they have formed the esg index with a lot of metrics coming in place i think uh, they have they have uh, kind of uh, they have uh, they might have looked at uh, multiple aspect i i have looked at that report why uh, there was a strong reasoning um, from uh, their side um, i think uh, whether tesla was able to answer that uh, I, i don't think so so i think it's just uh, maybe uh, i think it's it's just uh, instead of uh, taking it in a very uh, positive way and uh, try to uh, see how they can improve upon on it uh, instead of that uh, it, again uh, there is a selling of the soul he is this stuff it's not the standard and poor there are other, other stakeholders in the business uh, who who are also into this framework um, this is not one single unified regulator or framework which is guiding but um, i think overall um, i see tesla is doing um, still uh, great bunch of things for the environment and the world uh, by uh, kind of uh, working on or continue innovating on uh, the electric vehicle uh, utility um, and other things uh, which may be uh, some uh, humanity changing things but that doesn't mean the entrepreneur uh, in question can uh, sully some efforts maybe i think uh, it's a conflict of interest for him 
um, because of which uh, he is doing this uh, because uh, uh, he knows that there are gaps exist in both S and G of ESG uh, with respect to Tesla and other subsidiaries. Uh, I think uh, it's a clear, obvious thing because of which uh, uh, this is happening. So we don't need to give any veracity for, uh, uh, I think, Elon Musk's uh, kind of uh, uh, comments on ESG, corporate ESG as devil incarnate, and also um, uh, ESG as scam. So uh, he goes offensive on every every aspect. Yeah. IDPU uh, talk about. Um, having uh, uh, any lessons if he goes up and see. If you talk about uh, why do you um, uh, really uh, basically burn 150,000 uh, gallons of fuel and then going to space and you are preaching um, ESC, uh, then he goes offensive. Okay. Um, so uh, if, you, if you look at the broader aspect of thing, I do not know, I mean, say, how much it makes sense um, not to build uh, like you know uh, uh, you know uh, <laughs> there are data centers that can be built on space with whatever money actually is investing and wasting I mean say on ma many of the projects which is he's experimenting uh, there could be a more uh, ESG you know kind of friendly uh, environment to, uh, it can create I mean say it's all about uh, money. He's, he's a great businessman. I mean, I do not disagree he's a great businessman, but as far as uh, really empathizing uh, to the community and social governance and all these aspects, uh, I don't find that actually. Um, and because, you know, I mean, say the corporates have gone above the, uh, uh, basically the federal and, uh, you know, uh, the local governments. So, and that's the nature of uh, capitalist economies, right? So um, they will go uh, to that extent where there is no say of uh, the government, right? I mean, say the Facebook uh, data bridge, whatever happened, it's also having a large social impact if you look at it. I know, I mean, say there was no intention, intentionally uh, done thing, but I mean, say there are actually uh, uh, ways it could have been prevented because the amount that they are cashing out through a social media platform where actually there is a lot of uh, users, they uh, basically kind of donating their data without having any benefit. Um, so they, they, their data is being compromised. It's, it's, a, it's a big challenge. I mean, so where, where actually uh, the line lies? I mean, so where, where do they actually really empathize? That's actually a big uh, concern. I think uh, just responding to his uh, recent uh, May 18th uh, tweet on uh, um, if uh, ESG is good, according to Standard & Poor 500, he's making a comment that the Exxon is rated as a top 10 best in world uh, environmental, social, and governance. So I, I'll, I'll not agree to this uh, uh, kind of uh, quoting ESG, uh, Exxon as an example, because Exxon have paid $2.2 billion in penalty over past 22 years. Okay. I know Over actually it's a back. Yeah. yeah, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, no, the thing is, you know, Exxon, nobody saying Exxon is perfect. Exxon is yeah. public, they are uh, uh, headquartered in the US, etc. stuff, but they are getting penalized by government all the time. And that means this penalties are taken into account uh, by the rating agencies, uh, which is uh, uh, standard and poor or a, anybody. So it's like, uh, okay, over this last year in 2022, they, they are just penalized uh, less than a million. That means they have improved their uh, show. That's, that's as simple as that. Okay, they got penalized uh, $500 million in one, even one single, uh, one single incident in the past. That means they have, they, they, they kind of have improved their acts now. So that is the reality. So it's nobody saying that it's, it's, they are perfect. It's like, uh, I think uh, forget about uh, we making all these assessments. This is by regulator, Environmental Protection Agency, um, multiple other agencies, Department of Justice, all these agencies who are talking about how well Exxon Mobil is run as a group and company with all the subsidiaries put together. They have paid $2.2 billion in penalty, but over this last 2022, they, have, they are not penalized. That means they have improved their acts as simple as that. Okay, so yeah. uh, can we see the same thing with the uh, Tesla's uh, 
thing? No, I don't think so. So Tesla, Tesla may be in their prime uh, growth moment now. So because of which I think uh, they, they are getting penalized more and uh, they kind of, I think it's very natural. So people can understand, uh, okay, Tesla is only penalized so $89 million for that matter. It's not a huge amount compared to yeah. uh, the $2.2 billion, which I think Exxon got penalized. So I think this is a very poor fake argument. Uh, I, will, I, will, I See, I think... Uh, if you if there is a scope for improvement, I think uh, entrepreneurs uh, should take a positive approach and see how they can improve rather than uh, selling the whole thing. So I think uh, uh, yeah, it's he, not he, he, he also is also I think uh, leveraging this uh, kind of uh, extreme uh, social behavior in the social media, particularly sites right. like Twitter, he has a huge right. following. Uh, I think because of the huge following, it doesn't mean you can uh, provoke others and then you can create opinions. Yeah. Now yeah. he's creating, spreading false information or this is a clear a misinformation, calling out um, uh, ESG itself as a scam, standard and poor's rating as a scam, etc. So this, right, right. this doesn't go really bored well, actually. Uh, yeah, and, and he's, he's teaching actually some uh, to be in good books that, okay, Twitter has fake account. So that fake account has contributed to some president to win. That uh, fake account uh, enabled you to have uh, this kind of business. Um, and imagine actually an entrepreneur, uh, uh, like actually having the 2010 mindset of Elon Musk would be successful in uh, present situation. I say 100% no. Um, because at that time, the opportunity was there. I mean, say competition was lesser. But at, at the same time, what I'm trying to say is that it, I mean, so you cannot just cover up things with something else because actually there was a, uh, a like, okay, Twitter buying and all these things were, were there in the this thing. Oh, I want to go show the clean uh, image and then, um, yeah, uh, remove the fake Twitter accounts and things like that. Everybody knows that there are fake Twitter accounts. Um, and everybody how, knows actually how it is being utilized in India, in um, US and in and, 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 uh, Russia and every, all the places. Um, that's not a, a new thing that you're talking about. Anything um, which you really, really want to do, do it within Tesla. I mean, so what have you done? I, mean, I don't see actually, really, I agree with you what you're saying. Um, so, but at so the same time, it, yeah, go but ahead, at go. the same time, um, I just want to know, actually, I'm a Wharton CTO. Um, I'm at the University of Pennsylvania. I'm in Wharton uh, Executive Education as a CTO. I'm, I've completed uh, almost, uh, uh, this is third six weeks I have completed and I'm about to complete uh, the CTO program. So I can very well understand the impact of VSC. There are some three quadrants that it goes through. How actually they, uh, like actually the, the, let's say Tesla is a manufacturer, uh, whoever are the supplier, how actually they are, ensuring that from where they are getting, I mean, say so the seeds and everything that uh, is being advertised as fully recycled and then everything, whether fully recycled uh, and then uh, all these actually materials that are used inside Tesla is fully recycled. But actually, are there any real uh, benchmark around it? Uh, what it is, whatever is being told by these companies, are they being scrutinized, audited that, okay, really they are, um, that clean and then that uh, uh, basically environment friendly. I don't think so. There is any benchmark. I have seen many of the um, farms which did not follow the benchmark and eventually it created a disaster for the environment and then basically a, for the society. Uh, a recent is the, the 5G. Uh, what actually this, all these big players did, the three big players, it was a mess, at least the two big players. I'm not blaming T-Mobile, I'm excluding that. Uh, it's a big mess, the way actually 5G was rolled out. Uh, it got delayed because of these two in inside US. So there is also, there is environmental, social and governance impact because of the 5G got delayed. So that these are very, very, you know, uh, you know uh, very intense topic to discuss because we targeted 5G and then there are use cases which were supposed to be addressed in a uh, lot timely manner, uh, which could have helped the environment uh, to a great extent as well, and which could not we could not do it. Um, yeah. 
I think uh, uh, he's uh, typically following the uh, Silicon Valley, changing the status quo thing, um, um, the David versus Goliath. So I think he yes, just yes. forgot that uh, he he became a Goliath. Now he's not David anymore. It's not <laughs> he cannot keep challenging the system because see, even in Tesla's impact report, they have clearly mentioned uh, current ESG reporting doesn't measure the scope of positive impact on the world. No, you guys have built a company, a multi-billion dollar company. The founder has become the richest person of the world because of the same actually. So world is realizing and the customers have bought the cars as well as uh, the, their stocks. Both of that has happened. But so if yeah. you are poor on both the social and governance aspect, uh, maybe there are scope for improvement. So that's how I think of if, if there is a positive organization who wants to take positive inputs to kind of work upon on this and uh, correct that uh, gaps, I think uh, that's how I think they should approach this. Uh, hope, I think Tesla has some board <laughs> who's looking into this kind of things. Uh, yeah. There is a, suddenly, and there is an eccentric founder. See, founders, entrepreneurs, uh, at times they may be eccentric in nature, uh, who will come up with this, uh, some of these thoughts and uh, stuffs. But still, I think they, they they are a public company, and they suddenly they they are supposed to be guided by some of this. Uh, um, regulations of SEC and stuff. Uh, I'm not so sure why and um, uh, the selling of ESG in entirety is uh, continue being allowed. See, and on the political angle, see, even the previous administration reversing some of the other uh, ESG focused investments, etc. Some of those other guidelines uh, on uh, 401k and other stuff also kind of resulted. So. Uh, on uh, this uh, see, the general opinion uh, creation of uh, ESG is uh, just bad for uh, industries and uh, capitalism, etc. So it's not uh, that way. So if you look at uh, uh, Europe Union, Europe Union has even focused on something called a whistleblower directive, uh, which is just uh, focusing on uh, the ethics reporting aspect. So now, even you have a 50 plus people company, you are supposed to have this uh, uh, kind of a regulation in your European Union country that uh, that should there is a, some suitable reporting channel for uh, uh, kind of employees to reach out to investors or board or management. So this 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 is a very good thing. Ten member countries have already passed this as a regulation. So we, wow. we are on the business of uh, automating this ethics reporting uh, powered by blockchain. So we are aware that this, this is, these are the kind of forward-looking moves uh, which is going to help and uh, shape up the rest of the world. So, yeah, I would be interested to know that uh, uh, next. And uh, I have to drop, by the way, next, actually, I need to uh, attend some of the things. Sure, sure. Okay. I think we are on the fag end of the, the whole uh, show, uh, um, Surjay. So I think uh, thanks, thanks for uh, taking the time out. I think hope uh, we had a very fruitful discussion today on... Uh, uh, Tesla, Green, Elon Musk, and ESG in that order. Um, hopefully, we'll come up with more topics and uh, stay tuned. Uh, so, yeah, feel free to sure. connect. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.